In the many-colored world of how people act, each meeting shows a mix of small things that make it hard, chances, and openings. Knowing how people act and being skilled at dealing with them is key for doing well in this mixed-up place. Let's go through Law 19. Knowing who you're dealing with. Don't make the wrong person mad, using stories from the past with little details to shine a light on the small ways people act. 1. Seeing how people act. The Shah Muhammad II mess. In olden days, the 13th century clash between Shah Muhammad II and Genghis Khan stands as a sign of the dangers of not knowing how people's little ways work. Picture the rich court of the Shah, where being big-headed ruled and being good at talking was buried under thinking too much of oneself. Genghis Khan, a wandering conqueror with a name that echoed far and wide, stretched out an olive branch, a sign of maybe being friends. But in the fancy halls of Shah Muhammad's palace, the Khan's offer was met with scorn, a careless wave of the hand brushing it off as nothing. Small signs show the Khan's jaw tightening, a flash of anger in his eyes, signals the Shah missed in his big-headedness. What started as just talking between countries blew up into a huge fight. The Khan's rage, fed by the Shah's not caring, lit a fire of ruin that spread through the empire like a wildfire. From the shine of the court to the ashes of defeat, the Shah learned a hard lesson. How people act is a song of mixed up things, and not knowing leads to very bad things. People like colorful tapestries are woven from the fabric of what they went through, their fears, and their hopes. To find your way through this mix of personalities, one must become a keen watcher, in tune with the song of small looks, moves, and words that reveal the depths of another's mind. From the too big bravery hiding deep doubts to the hidden weak spots of those who seem unbeatable, knowing these small ways is key for making bonds and avoiding conflicts. By watching closely and thinking about yourself, one can understand the mixed up melodies of how people act and expertly move through the maze of personalities. 2. Telling Apart Characters the Norfleet versus Fury story. In the mixed up dance of who has power, being able to tell between different kinds of people is very important. We meet all sorts, each bringing their own hard things and openings. From the touchy and proud arrogant and proud man, whose reactions are too fierce for any small insult, to the slyly getting back hopelessly insure man, nursing deep hurts and simmering mad feelings, Every type needs a nuanced way of dealing with them. Then there's Mr. Suspicion, whose worrying too much leads to seeing bad where there is none. Yet, this being fooled easily can be used to your favor if handled well. The cold and plotting serpent with a long memory bides their time, getting even with smart tricks when the chance comes. Lastly, there's the seemingly easy target of the plain, simple, and often not so smart man whose lack of sneakiness makes them hard to fool straight up, yet they may hide unexpected depths. Think of the story of J. Frank Norfleet and the sly Joe Fury in early 1900s America, a tale marked with little details that show the core of how people really are. Norfleet, a rich cattleman, got caught in Fury's web of lies, lured by promises of wealth and respect. Yet, Norfleet's keen eye for small things let him see through Fury's charming outside unraveling the many layers of deceit. His change from victim to winner, driven by a never-ending search for justice, echoes through history. Growing our types of people to include a wider mix deepens our grasp of how people act. By accepting that individuals are many-sided, we improve our ability to predict actions, understand intentions, and protect our own interests amid hidden plans and subtle tricks. 3. Strategies for Dealing with People In the mixed-up dance of social ways, finding the fine balance between standing up for yourself and understanding is super important. Armed with insights into how people act and skilled telling apart, we make tailored strategies for dealing with people well. Think of Henry Ford, moving through the dangerous world of elite art sellers with the finesse of a pro-diplomat. 
Embracing nuanced diplomacy lets us expertly move through social landscapes, diffusing conflicts, and making helpful alliances. By putting small details into our dealings, like subtle gestures, tone of voice, and body moves, we show a deep grasp and respect for the small ways people act. On a lighter note, the meeting between industrialist Henry Ford and a group of opportunistic art sellers highlighted a more comedic, but still useful lesson about knowing who you're talking to. In the early 1900s, the super-rich Ford was an enticing target for the sellers, who hoped to profit from the auto tycoon's vast riches. They prepared a fancy, leather-bound book with full-color pictures of a valuable set of paintings they wanted to sell. When they showed the lavish book to Ford, the sellers thought he would be in awe of the collection's beauty and status, opening his wallet to make an extravagant buy. However, they failed to account for Ford's well-known thriftiness and practical mindset. To the seller's bewilderment, Ford simply said that since the book had flawless copies of the artwork, he had no need to actually purchase the original paintings themselves. His literal and cost-conscious take left the art sellers stuttering. Their big plan to appeal to Ford's ego and status had backfired hugely against his practical senses. While more humorous than the tales of shahs and conmen, Ford's meeting showed the risks of acting on wrong assumptions and failing to keenly understand your target. The sellers assumed flattery and exclusivity would sway the industrialist, while in reality, Ford only cared about real value, not showing off. These diverse stories spanning centuries all highlighted the lasting wisdom of Sun Tzu's famous saying, If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Whether dealing with supreme arrogance, criminal deceit, or rigid pragmatism, success hinged upon carefully studying and understanding the adversary's mindset, motivations, and methods. To ignore this crucial principle was to invite disaster and defeat. In closing, Mastering how people act requires a mix of knowing yourself, understanding others, and strategic smarts. By understanding behavior, telling apart personalities, and using diplomatic strategies filled with small details, we expertly navigate the mixed-up web of social interactions. Let Law 19 guide us as we deal with purpose and respect in the many-colored tapestry of human bonds. If you're tuning into this video till now, it shows you're someone who loves seeing things through to the end. That's awesome, because finishing what we start isn't always easy. So, big congrats to you for that, because most people don't finish what they start. Now I've got something important to share. We're currently accepting donations in the form of subscriptions to our channel. It won't cost you a dime, but it will mean the world to us. Your subscription fuels our confidence and motivates us to create even better content that can genuinely help people. So, if you believe in what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Together, we can make a real difference. Thanks for your support.